And that is Chicken Doppiazza Made. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef. I'm Rick today, Chicken Doppiazza. I'm going to give you a couple of little tips that I use on the onions to make a fantastic tasting curry. But before we get started, before we get started, I would like to say all the ingredients that I use are listed in the description. I misunderstood somebody asking about ingredients the other day and a fantastic chef friend of mine in Australia pointed it out. <laughs> I'm glad he did. So, but all the ingredients are always listed in the description. Just scroll down, they're all there. Okay, let's crack on with this and show you what I'm going to do with these onions. Right, a bit of oil in there. Now, not much oil. We're going on with a flame. Now we're going to heat this oil up. I'll move that oil actually. Now this is my way of cooking the onions for my style of doppiazza. Now I must admit, I used to do this in the restaurant as well, but we used to have tons of tons of onions. This is just a different way at home. So we heated the oil, we're going in with some cubed onions. We're going to get those in there, now do not put your tub away, keep it to one side. Now we need to put just a little bit of char in on these onions. Now it doesn't take very long and you don't have to be really super high heat. It just has to be hot enough to start these onions off. We've got these onions with a little bit of charring on but they're nowhere near cooked. Now what we need to do is take them out and put them back in there. So they're going back in there. So there's my onions and that is a pinch of garam masala. Okay, just give that a little mix up. Get a lid and put a lid on. Get a lid and put a lid on. Put it to one side. What's going to happen is they are going to soften up in there with that garam masala on there. And obviously we've put a little bit of charring on. So they're going to like steam cook in there. We're going to have a bit of crunch inside. And that's just how I want those onions. Right, flame on. I don't want much oil for this either. Onions in. Now these onions, we actually want to fry down. So to this, I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. Now don't go bananas with the sugar. We're not making an apple pie. The sugars are going to help. Oh, so we're going to help with the sweetness, but we're not after sweetness. It's going to help caramelize these onions and put a really nice browning on there. Okay, flame off. That's our onions. All we need to do now is put them back in our bowl. Chuck them in there. And then a little bit of oil. And then in with some garlic ginger paste. Now I'm using garlic ginger, I'm not gonna pretend it's anything else. You know, if you've got just garlic paste, that's fine. So that's in with that. Wait till you've cooked off that rawness from there. And then in with your spices. Let's get those spices in there. Start blooming them off. Could have done with a bit more oil, I think. Not to worry. I 
and then we're going in with some of our onion paste give it a little mix round oh, ho, ho. oh look at that just give your onion paste a little bit of a stirring round in there now don't forget our onion paste actually contains a little bit of oil when we cooked it and then we want to be going in there with our chicken Okay, so we've got a bit of cooking going on there. In with a, some green peppers. Now, the green peppers are completely optional in this dish. Some people have them in, some people don't have them in. So basically what we're cooking with here at the moment, we're actually cooking with a curry paste. The same as you'd get in a jar probably, you know, a lot of onions and some spices. Right, what we need to do is go in with our tomato puree. Get that in there. Right, what we need to do, we need to cook the rawness out of this tomato puree. So just cook it for a little minute in there. And then we want to go in with just a little bit of water. Get that in there and we start to build up our little curry sauce. A little bit more. Now, you want to be coming up to about 250-300 mils of curry sauce, probably about 250, somewhere around about there, or 200 mils. That'll make a nice curry sauce. Right, for this curry, I'm going in with about a teaspoon of sugar. Optional, you don't need to, but I feel it does actually need it in this curry. Next ingredient is completely optional. Coriander, completely optional, but I like it in there. So get it in and stir it in. Now with my curries, you don't tend to see the garden all over the top at the end. You know, I see many curries, well they make a really fantastic curry and then they chuck the garden all over the top and you can't see what the curry is. The curry should look like the curry. then what we're going to do, we're going to go in with some tomato. Give that a little stirring in there. Now we're not going to cook the tomato too long. We're only going to give it a minute or so. Now 
Look how fantastic that looks. Okay, remember our onions? We want to go in there with our fried onions. And remember our steamed onions? They want to go in there as well. Give it a quick stir up. A little pinch of garam masala. And that is chicken doppiazza made. Let's serve it up. Oh, there we are. Chicken doppiazza made. Let's give it a go. All oh, the big pieces of chicken, these. But they're perfectly cooked. It's some onions, some curry sauce. Mmm, mmm, oh, chicken's fantastic. Oh, come on. You've got that crunch to the onions, you've got the fried onions. It's fantastic. Mmm. That is a fantastic curry, it's one of my favourites. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. If you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video.